What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and most of you don't know what this is. This is pure tech death in my hands. This is called a USB killer version 2.0. So it's one sole purpose is to destroy anything you plug it into as long as it has power. So I just wanna show you guys in this video what would happen if I were to plug this into an iPhone 7 Plus. This is just pure curiosity. I mean, the first thing I thought of when I heard about this is about Mr. Robot when they dropped the little USB on the road and a cop picked it up. Imagine you find a high enough storage USB. You know, I would pick it up if it was at least 64 gigs and you go to plug it into your computer and upon plugging it in, upon impact, boom, it fries the motherboard. The way this works is it's actually composed of about five capacitors that just attain charge very quickly upon plugging it in and they send out an extremely high voltage energy that goes ahead and fries the motherboard or any components in that computer. And if I can open this up real quick, I just wanna show you guys what's inside. So there you go, it's just pure capacitors. And as long as you have a way to plug this into a device, you can go ahead and fry the internals. So let me just show you guys as a proof of concept uh, what happens if you plug it into a computer real quick. So I'm gonna plug it in here and careful not to shock myself. This is actually the tester unit. So it's basically preventing the charge from going to the computer. So I'm gonna plug it into here and I'm gonna zoom this in so you guys can see what's going on here. But basically, as long as you have power on the device, you're gonna be able to see some sparks. Man, this is some powerful stuff for real. So before we go to the iPhone, we're gonna go ahead and plug this into my old computer. This is something I started the YouTube channel with. I was making my very first YouTube videos on this computer, so it's really like a trip down memory lane today. Uh, this thing is amazing. I built it myself at age 14, which is nothing special, but you know, it served me well, but it's taking up space, it's dying, so it's time to get rid of it, and what better way to do it than with a super high-tech USB killer. I'm gonna plug in the death stick, and let's see what kind of charge we got here. Should be a very, very good amount. Oh yeah, that's strong. All right, so performing the test, unplugging from the safety tester, and here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and find this USB port. Goodbye, sweet prince. It was a good run. Three, two, one. Oh, you heard that. There was like a crackle. And I'm gonna unplug it. That took like a little bit longer than I thought. I thought it'd be instant, but about a second and a half and try and plug it in and I'm gonna try and power it on No luck It is completely dead just like that So I'm not entirely sure if it's in the power supply the motherboard or where But the computer is done like it just will not work That's it Success. So with the computer dead, I've got a brand new iPhone 7 Plus right here. I just activated it. Plastic wrap is now off. And uh, yeah, so I'm kind of curious what'll happen. I think just the lightning port will get fried. There's no way that the iPhone 7 Plus doesn't have a guard against high electrical current. So something will break before it enters into the logic board. But with the tester, let's see uh, if we can get a some sort of response from this. So I bought one of these. That's a lightning to USB in order to import photos, stuff like that. So plugging this in, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the tester first and then the death USB. Okay, it's now working. So I just had to let it sit for a couple minutes. I guess it takes a little while for it to charge, but I do get a little tiny spark in there and a little bit of sound. So because it's such a low voltage port, you know, you're not getting a lot of power through it. It's not meant to output power like on computers. There is some energy. Before I do this though, let's try out the iPhone 7 Plus dummy. Let's put this thing out of its misery real quick. So unplugging from the safety tester. Now this one, I was never able to get any sort of current through here like no response, I'm not sure why that is. So pushing that out, plugging in the killer USB into the iPhone 7 Plus clone in three, two, one. And 
nothing. Surviving. Hmm. Nothing at all, so... Interesting, okay. So this thing isn't affected. iPhone 7 Plus, here we go. I'm gonna unplug this first. Plugging in this guy. Now the interesting thing that I found is if your device is locked with a passcode, I was unable to get any sort of spark. So if you're worried about someone just plugging this in randomly into your phone, don't be, nothing will happen. The iPhone doesn't allow uh, any input like that. So, here we go. The moment of truth, plugging the USB killer into the iPhone 7 Plus in three, two, one. And I heard a click. So, it definitely did do something. No click this time. Could it be that the USB port itself just died? Oh, it keeps clicking. I guess I'm gonna keep it plugged in here. Nothing is happening. Hmm, still able to use my phone just fine. So I'm gonna set it aside for a couple minutes and see if anything happens to it. Listen to that. It's making all these clicking noises, like it keeps sending current through here, but nothing is happening. The iPhone must have a safeguard against this. I thought so. Okay, so a couple minutes has passed. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this and see if a regular charge still works here. Nope. I'm unable to get any charge. All right, so iPhone 7 Plus right here. No tomfoolery. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into this USB bank. It is a Samsung, don't hate. <laughs> but I'm getting no charging or anything like that. So if I plug in my personal, iPhone 7 Plus, I'll show you guys that it does charge it. So, there we go. It is on and working. As you guys can see, it is charging. If I plug this one in, it appears the lightning port is done for. So, yeah, guys, there it is. That's the lightning connector. I was unable to kill this thing. I'm going to plug it in once more in the back here. It just fries the lightning connector, unfortunately. So I was hoping for a little bit more, but I'm not done yet. Let's see what happens to the Galaxy Note 7. Will this thing explode? And I actually plugged it in through this adapter and man, does this thing have a charge through it. So let's try. So into the Galaxy Note 7, this contraption goes. I mean, look at this. This is gonna kill your device right here. And just show you guys, this has a much stronger charge versus the iPhone. It actually puts out a lot of sparks. So it's definitely there. I don't know why my camera isn't picking it up very well. It must be the frames, but there's definitely like a lot of sparks from the Galaxy Note 7. Okay, unplugging the safety part right here. And here we go. So into the Galaxy Note 7 in three, Two, one. And I'm gonna report if I feel any heating up, but I just don't want it to explode on me. So far, nothing. It, it actually says something with the battery up here. Oh no, it's just discharging. No heating up to report. I'm going to unplug it and replug it in. Nothing. So somebody actually posted a video about this killing uh, Nokia just instantly, but seems like Samsung and Apple both have some sort of prevention against this, against high current. I'm a little disappointed. I really wanted one of these phones to die. So the Galaxy thinks, uh, this is a USB right here. So it wants to supply power, charge the connected device via USB. Let's try the charging option right here. So nothing, unfortunately, that was a bust. The Galaxy Note 7 did not explode. Same power bank. It does work after the USB killer. All right, so guys, thanks for watching. This video was just the true extent of my curiosity. I really wanted to see what would happen and apparently it does affect your iPhone. It doesn't completely kill it. So might as well though, it killed the lightning port, which 
is a costly replacement. Anyways, guys, be careful about what you plug into your computer or your phones. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, fun little video I decided to make. Have a great day. Peace.